Hey there, welcome to the super awesome research segment of my podcast. Are you ready to dive headfirst into the mind boggling world of psychology, mental health and all things related? I hope you've got your seatbelt on because we're about to embark on a wild and fascinating journey. Before we jump in, let's make sure you're all set and ready to go. Grab yourself a tasty beverage to keep those taste buds tingling. It could be a refreshing glass of water, a strong cup of coffee, a soothing mug of tea, or hey, whatever floats your boat. We want you to be completely comfortable and fully engaged. Oh, and don't forget your trusty pen and notepad. You'll definitely want to jot down any mind-blowing insights or burning questions that pop into your head. Believe me, you won't want to miss a single nugget of wisdom that we'll be dropping. We're about to blow your mind with some seriously eye-opening stuff. Wow. Whether you're a psychology newbie or a seasoned expert, this discussion is going to ignite your curiosity and passion for understanding human behaviour and well-being. So get cosy, my listeners, and prepare to have your perspectives expanded and your mind buzzing with brand new ideas. Ah, the complex psychology behind parents who protect their children even when they're clearly in the wrong. It's quite an intriguing topic. Let's dive into it. Now picture this. A parent armed with an undying love for their child feels an innate desire to shield them from any harm, be it physical or emotional. It's a natural instinct like a mama bear protecting her cubs. But sometimes this protective instinct can go a little overboard, leading parents to defend their children even when they're clearly at fault. So what causes this behaviour? One psychological explanation is rooted in a phenomenon called parental investment theory. This theory suggests that parents have a deep-rooted need to ensure their offspring's survival and success. In their minds, protecting their child at all costs becomes a way to fulfil this primal urge. But here's the twist. This well-intentioned protection can have some not-so-wonderful effects on society. When parents shield their children from facing the consequences of their actions, it can create a sense of entitlement and an inability to take responsibility for their mistakes. After all, if a child never experiences the natural consequences of their actions, how can they learn and grow? This can have a ripple effect on society. Imagine a world where individuals grow up without learning the importance of accountability. It can lead to a lack of empathy, an inflated sense of self-importance and a disregard for the well-being of others. Not exactly the recipe for a harmonious society, right? First and foremost, when parents consistently shield their children from consequences, it can foster a sense of entitlement. Picture a child who grows up believing that they can do no wrong, that the world revolves around their desires and needs. This can lead to a lack of empathy and an inability to consider the feelings and perspectives of others. After all, if they never have to face the consequences of their actions, why bother thinking about how it affects others? Furthermore, this protection can hinder personal growth and development. When children are shielded from facing the consequences of their mistakes, they miss out on valuable learning opportunities. Making mistakes and experiencing the consequences is a crucial part of growing and developing resilience. It teaches them important life lessons like problem solving, decision making and accountability. Without these experiences, children may struggle to navigate the challenges of adulthood and become ill-equipped to handle the complexities of life. Another negative effect is the potential for a distorted self-image. When parents consistently protect their children from facing consequences, it can create a false perception of their abilities and achievements. They may start to believe that they are infallible, perfect beings who can never do wrong. This can lead to a fragile self-esteem that can be easily shattered when confronted with the reality that they are not always right or successful. It's like building a house of cards on a shaky foundation. Lastly, this pattern of shielding can have ripple effects on society as a whole. Imagine a society where individuals grow up without understanding the importance of accountability and facing consequences. It can lead to a lack of personal responsibility, a disregard for rules and regulations and a weakened social fabric. It's like a Jenga tower waiting to collapse, but fear not. Recognising the negative effects of shielding children from consequences is the first step towards change. By allowing children to face the natural consequences of their actions, 
parents can help them develop empathy, resilience and a healthy sense of accountability, it's like giving them the tools to navigate the maze of life with confidence and grace. And that's a wrap, folks. We've come to the end of another mind-boggling research segment on My Therapy Room podcast. And to all our listeners out there, thank you for joining us on this wild and wonderful segment. We hope you learned and maybe even pondered a few big questions along the way. Remember, the quest for knowledge never ends. So keep exploring, keep questioning and keep embracing. That's what makes us beautifully human. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.